Hey there, my friends, what is happening, everybody? Vitaly Dubin is here, founder of Bitcoin's False Club, and welcome to another episode of Today in Crypto Show, where I'm discussing what is happening right now in the wild, wild west of crypto, how you can profit from it, and of course, we have a lot to discuss today. As usual, we'll talk about the Bitcoin price, we'll see what is happening with Ethereum, we'll talk about El Salvador and people going out to the street with the protest of the new Bitcoin enforcement law, we'll talk about the NFT craze and really what is happening with that and how much a lot of people are really profiting from this new NFT boom and what are the opportunities that are there. We have a lot to discuss, so tune in. Let's talk about the start with the market cap. We are right now at $2.2 trillion, looking very, very good, up 2.7% on the day. You can see Bitcoin is a tip point right here, about $48,000, but Ethereum is absolutely skyrocketing right now because of the DeFi, because of NFT demand, um, and because of the scarcity. We are right now uh, more than $400 million that has been burned by Ethereum because of EAP 1559. We'll talk about that. So Ethereum is looking very, very strong and very bullish. Overall, the market is bullish. Solana absolutely skyrocketed. Once again, 28% on the day, $127. Absolutely crazy. Just shows you where the actual potential of Solana is moving. Not staying with a $100 mark, but uh, it can go to thousands of dollars. Uh, right now is the seventh blockchain and is moving fast. Really, really awesome to see. Catching up with Cardano and with Ethereum, incredible. I remember uh, Solana buying it at $16 at one point. Man, this is so crazy <laughs> what's going on in the crypto space. Looking at Bitcoin, uh, what we can learn from the charts on a four hourly chart, we can see that we broke this channel to the downside but we are creating a, a higher lows which uh, which is nice to see uh, some bullish momentum here but uh, not decisively not decisively we have this resistance right here and we still need to break the fifty thousand dollar mark uh, overall right here you can see that we are still above the 200 days moving average so that is looking good and uh, overall if Bitcoin is going to go down, of course, uh, the altcoins are going to also suffer from it. But Bitcoin staying stagnant like this and not moving up and down pretty much over the previous week, it allowed the room for a lot of these other cryptocurrencies and also large caps to, uh, to really go um, much, much higher. So that's good. Overall, it's a good, uh, we, we are in a good place right now looking at on-chain metrics it's remarkable and could could see really a uh, bitcoin as mid and late 2020 preparing for the next big bull run there is bullish sentiment and it's very notable according to glassnote we are seeing uh, a lot of activity for bitcoin similar to the stable pre-bull accumulation range established in mid to late 2020 so it is not out of the question that we are going to surpass the previous all-time high. We're looking very good right now, and we are on track and on the way to $100,000 and up. Uh, looking at El Salvador adopting Bitcoin, and on the 7th of September, in about a week, uh, we're seeing some protest protesting going on right now with that uh, first of all the international monetary fund the imf do not advise uh, for this move they heavily criticize el salvador for that and of course whenever you see i am you know imf protesting and pushing against and criticizing that means that you cannot ignore bitcoin we're doing something right and uh, first they're going to protest, they're trying to fight, but uh, the train is already left. <laughs> it is unstoppable. According to IMF, the digital assets have the potential to provide cheaper and faster payments, enhance financial inclusion, improve resilience and competition among payment providers, and facilitate cross-border transfers. So that's good. However, 
The IMF also warned that the widespread adoption of a crypto assets such as Bitcoin could hurt macroeconomic stability. So if goods and services were priced in both a real currency and a crypto asset, households and businesses would spend significant time and resources choosing which money to hold as opposed to engaging in productive activities. Interesting, right? Furthermore, adopting crypto exposes exchange rate risk if taxes were quoted in advance in it, while expenditures remain mostly priced in fiat currency on the reverse. So they're trying to fight uh, El Salvador. Also, the people on the streets are going right now in opposition to El Salvador accepting Bitcoin as legal tender, claiming that essentially that doesn't give people the freedom of choice. Um, they're forcing, they're forcing Salvador businesses to essentially accept Bitcoin whether they want it or not, right? And so a lot of businesses do not want to transact in Bitcoin, but because of the law, they're forcing it. Now, over three quarters of Salvadorians did not support this Bitcoin project. And uh, even though the president insisted that Bitcoin acceptance will not be compulsory, so if someone wants to continue loading cash and not uh, accept Bitcoin, they'll be able to keep doing it. However, that contradicts the legislation it says that claims that every economic agent must accept Bitcoin as payment when offered to him by whoever acquires a good or service. Okay, so we'll see. We'll see how it's going to pan out uh, eventually uh, over the next uh, week or two uh, whether the law is going to come into fruition or they will do something to oppose this law now looking for the growth of institutional DeFi activity is absolutely shocking and it skyrocketed over 2021 as you can see um, this is the numbers and it shows that you see this orange large institutional DeFi activity was very small in quarter three and quarter four uh, 2020 started to go up and uh, now we are talking about this so much more levels the institutional activity is just going higher and higher this is thanks to the recent um DeFi, global DeFi, DeFi adoption index that was launched by chain analysis. Okay, so this is definitely a huge innovation uh, happening right now in crypto. All this DeFi section, they even did a study of who is the country that are most more adopting this DeFi technology than, than the rest. Uh, looking about NFTs, the Board Ape Yacht Club absolutely killing it killing it selling 96 million dollars of mutant ape nfts in one hour so think about it they launched 10,000 mutant apes they took apes already there and created mutations out of those apes they sold three ethereum for each of this mutant ape and now they're trading for at least twenty two thousand dollars four hundred which is double the price, the lowest asking price for a mutant ape is double the price. So this is NFT craze. This is absolutely craze. <laughs> this boring ape yacht club, 10,000 board ape NFTs that are launching now that are mutations. And if you buy one of these, you're welcome to the club and you can use in the future the bathroom. Yes, the bathroom for the board ape yacht club. <laughs> it contains a, a canvas accessible only to wallets contain at least one ape. And uh, each ape holder will be able to paint a pixel on the bathroom wall every 15 minutes. Yeah, that's uh, quite interesting. <laughs> We're pretty sure it's going to be full of dicks. <laughs> so, man, this crazy, this crazy NFT is, is, uh, is insane. And uh, talking about NFT and Binance, Binance also has an nft marketplace and now the binance nft marketplace just signed up a deal with the state hermitage museum and they're going to auction off the works of leonardo da vinci and van gogh and other artists as an nft at a minimum of ten thousand dollars per art collection so this is 
a digital representation of the famous artists all represented in nfts okay in this binance nft marketplace and you can participate in it you can buy it with bnb you can buy it with busd those different artists See, current bid twenty five thousand dollars for this nft crazy right um yeah so <laughs> If you're an artist, you can see you can be provided, you can be paid very well for your art uh, in this in this market. See, Angry pandas, yeah, interesting, interesting. What's going on right now? Um, the giant OpenSea NFT marketplace had a three billion dollar month. Think about it. It just launched a couple of years ago. Now it reaches levels unprecedented, growing so fast. Three billion dollars in trading volume in August. Three billion, <laughs> compared to, for example, Etsy marketplace already surpassed that. Compared to eBay, eBay is larger. It did twenty-two billion dollars um, during the course of uh, second quarter of twenty twenty-one. However, it's been around for twenty-six years, and OpenSea was founded less than four years ago. So, of course, Amazon is still leading the charts, $113 billion of net sales, but OpenSea, man, $3 billion, that's quite a lot. That's quite a lot. So, um, right now, NFTs, some NFTs you can buy for, for cheaply, but some of these collections, some NFT collections are really crazy and... Um, are available for at least ten thousand dollars and up so for people with funds not for the small users um participation in this nft marketplace yeah so crypto is booming you can see ethereum cardano is is, is booming is on you know pretty much trading at all-time high right now two dollars eighty cents um if you want to learn how you can get rewards received every single day how you can triple your money passively and align yourself with the world's strongest blockchain alliance membership that had over half a billion dollars in investment in over 300 different blockchain projects and uh, that's really amazing what they're doing and how they're helping the the people around the world to receive those daily rewards on a, on, a, on a daily basis so that's amazing they have an entire ecosystem with this multi-billion dollar group behind this and you can go to crypto rewards daily.com to learn how you can get a piece of those daily rewards yourself um, with this project you do not need to bring anyone you know, to the market just have your um, essentially money working for you that's uh, really amazing so that's what I want to share with you in today's episode of today in crypto shop I hope you are doing fantastically well this Tuesday and uh, subscribe to YouTube Bitcoin's Wells Club channel put on the like if you are watching it on Facebook on a page follow on Facebook for the latest news on the cryptocurrency space and uh, I'm looking forward to launch the new version of Bitcoin's Walls Club that is being built behind the scenes. It's going to be big. It's going to be awesome. A lot of uh, excitement around that. I'll, uh, sure, uh, I'll definitely let you guys uh, know when we launch uh, a week or two in advance. So looking forward for that. And with that being said, hope you have a fantastic day and we'll see you in the next episode of Today in Crypto Show.